All right, good afternoon. Today I will be doing a quick tutorial on how to get your OneNote set up for class. Um, this is specifically for Ms. Mowers, both Algebra 2 and Applied Math classes. Uh, each teacher chooses to use OneNote in a slightly different way, um, but this was the most efficient way that I could set up uh, getting students logged in and into the same notebook. So as a student, you will want to first open up any type of internet software. I chose Google. Um, you choose Explorer, whatever type you have. And you want to search Office 365. Um, you can also type in login if you like. Login. Then from this point, you want to go ahead and type go to Office 365 login. Uh, this is where each student is going to be slightly different. Um, so you can see I already have my email typed in, but the first thing that's going to pop up for you is to type in your email. Now I do want to stress here that your email is going to be, uh, hold on, let me pull it up. Your email should be um, whatever your username is. So I'm going to put that in, you know, rack, or you know what I mean, um, and put username. Whatever your username is to log into your computer, it's going to be the exact same as that. So whatever username, again, you type in to log into your computer, it's going to be that, followed by at LDSD students.org. Then as far as your password goes, um, your password should be exactly the same as your login. So your login password. So again, that's at least how that's so when you're into this this window here, the first thing you should type in would be your, your username followed by at LDSD students.org. Again, that's plural students.org. And then when you hit enter and it takes you to password, it should be the same login password that you log into your computer with. So I'm going to go ahead and type mine. There's my password. I hit sign in. Again, that's exactly the same as you would. You can choose here. It says stay logged in. That's totally up to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. I might as well stay logged in. Give it a second and you should see a window very, very similar to this. Now, if you're a new student being added to the class, um, this next step could take a little bit as far as loading goes, uh, but I did most of the including students into the software pretty early. So you want to go into OneNote. Give that a second to load. Now I have a lot of different options here because I have a lot of different OneNote folders. So you don't have to really worry about that. Probably in this first one, you'll either have none. Under my notebook, you guys will, again, students, and when I say you guys, I mean students, um, you guys should really only have one option and it's going to say your name followed by at Lord Often School District. Then if you go under shared with me, you may see the folder you're looking for here. So if you see under shared with me, if you see Algebra 2 2019 notebook, or if you need the applied math, depending on which class you're trying to enter into, you can click on it from this port, or if it's under class notebook, you might also find it there. Most students found it under class notebook, um, but it should in theory be under either tab. So shared with me or class notebook. When you uh, want to go click on it, don't click the link underneath. Do not click this link. It takes you to a really weird site um, and you don't want that. You want to actually open the notebook. And so I hover over the notebook. I click that. And give it a second to load. And when it starts appearing, so now it's starting to kind of open up your notebook. The notebook is, in theory, kept in the cloud, so it always takes a little bit of time to actually pull stuff down. So while this is loading, we're going to leave this loading screen on. I want you to go down into your search window, and you're going to type in OneNote. And again, type out the word OneNote. There is two different versions you should see. 
One of them says OneNote 2016, and the other one says OneNote app. Um, if it doesn't quite look like that, you're looking for the OneNote that has a lot more purple in it. This one has purple, but you want the one with a lot more purple in it. So if we go ahead and click that, it's going to go ahead and open the app. Now what's nice about the app is this process that you're doing following this step by step, you will never have to do again with the app. So when you first open the app, you're going to see something like this. It's going to say your name up here, followed by at Lord Auckland School District, and that's about it. Now at this moment, again, we're still waiting for that internet thing to load. So I would like you to come down um, to the bottom. I want to say that you can see it. Yes, I think you can possibly see it. Um, if you can see the toolbar or the taskbar down in the bottom screen down here, um, if you can see that, you want to right click on your OneNote icon and there's going to come up an option that says, um, yours says pin to taskbar, mine says unpin because I've already pinned it, but you want to pin that to your taskbar. What that does is then if I go ahead and close out of my OneNote, so if I close that down, I can see it's still in the tab down here and I can quickly just open my app um, without having to search it each time. So I'd strongly recommend you pinning that to your taskbar. And now hopefully if we go back to, this is our web page. See I have my web tabs up here. This is our web page. Everything has now loaded. So if you want to, you can just close that out. I'm going to go back under the app now. So I'm back under the app. Again, we are in the app, not the web page anymore. This is the app. The app is a lot easier to use than the web page. So honestly, I'd never go back to that web page. Once you open it once on the web, you never have to do it again. You can close out of that web page and everything. You want to go ahead and click this drop down menu. And you will see that I have two options right now because I have both of these notebooks downloaded. You will not have these options available to you. What you want to click is more notebooks and you'll see some load through here. One of your options should be your class. So if you are in Algebra 2, there should be an Algebra 2 notebook available to you. If you are in Applied Math, you will have an Applied Math notebook available to you. You want to check that off and hit Open. I do not actually want to add that one, so I'm just going to not hit Open. But again, you would check that off, hit Open. It will then load and take a second. And again, now you'll see up here it says Algebra 2 2019 Notebook. That's a good sign. And then the last thing I want to do is kind of work, walk you through how to use this OneNote app. And again, I'm going to go ahead and close my OneNote app. I still have this open in the background, so I'm going to go ahead and close those apps. You don't need them anymore. And go back to my home page. I come down and I open up my app. Here's what you need to know about the app. The content library is where all the juicy stuff is. So under content library, you will find week one, in which case here's the packet. It says August 26th to 29th. Those are all of the notes that you need. Now you'll notice that these notes are blank because this is the blank version of the packet. That way if you wanted to print it out and fill it in yourself, you are more than welcome to. Now, if you want to print this out over to the side, you will see PDF versions or a Word version. If you double click that, it will open it up as a PDF and allow you to print. I would strongly recommend that you do not just print, um, like do control P. If you do control P, you'll actually see here, it brings it up in a very cropped version and not the most ideal thing to work with. So, you know, if you go to the next one, it's a page within a page. It kind of looks weird. It gives you a lot less space versus if you open that PDF version, you're going to have a lot better space. That is a one-time thing. If you print that out at the beginning of the week, you will not have to print it out again. That PDF includes homework and notes. So again, print it out on Monday and you'll have it for the entire week. Now, if you're looking for keys, you'll also notice on this tab that there are key options. And if you go under key, you will see all the answer keys that you need. I have the homework answer keys as well, so you can check those out whatever day that you're looking at. If you go into the following week, you'll see the exact same stuff. You know, you have answer keys, 
you have the notes themselves. Um, some of the weeks, for example, we are now about to start week four. As the weeks start out, the answer keys for homework will not be there. So when I publish week four, you will not see the answer keys to these homeworks until they are already past due. Because once they are due, then I am happy to give you the answer key. Then another nice thing that you can do is if you have a stylus, you can go, or even if you don't have a stylus, if you do or do not have a stylus, you can go up to this draw option and you have a series of pens, pencils, and highlighters up here. The pens kind of look pretty straightforward, you know, pointy, that type of thing. Highlighters are a little bit fatter. And then pencils, I don't really have any pencils, but they would look like that, okay? Now, if you do not have a stylus, each time you will have to click the little finger, select which pen that you want, and then you can go ahead and write. You can also write with your finger. Um, that last draw was with my finger. You can highlight if you want, and you can highlight over the pages. You can go ahead and click a pen. You can also double click, and it will bring down font sizes. So if you want to make that a fatter font, you can have a fatter font. Um, I prefer size 2. I think it's just the right size. There are a bunch of different styles, like there's a rainbow one. A lot of people like the rainbow one. Um, you can have fun with the different pen styles, whatever you like. There is also the erase one, in which case you can erase single sections. If you just you know made a small mistake and you don't want to erase all of it. Or if you're like, nope, take out that whole line, get rid of it. Take out that whole line, take out that whole line. You know, you can do it all in one fail swoop as well. Um, so you have all your pens. This is more or less how we'll be able taking notes in class is with a stylus um, or with a pen or with your finger. Either or is perfectly fine. Um, if you ever have troubleshooting and you're like, I know that there should be a week, you know, week four, but I'm just not seeing it. Hover over top of your notebook and right click. You will see these options drop down. You want to go under sync and then sync this notebook. If it has a little icon like this, where it's a little two little circles, that means it's loading, it's pulling stuff down from the cloud. If it's a triangle or any other shape, that means that there was an error pulling stuff down from the cloud. So I would either do the sync option or just close out of your notebook, reopen it, and that tends to fix any glitches that you may have. Um, if you have pen glitches or anything along that lines, closing down the app and reopening it tends to make it work. The last thing I would like to say as far as OneNote goes is that it does automatically save. So if you were in the middle of writing something and for whatever reason your computer dies or, you know, you quickly close it for whatever reason, um, it will automatically save your notes, which is very, very handy um, for those of us that are klutzy and accidentally close apps. Um, so hopefully that helps you get your OneNote set up. Again, um, oh, final thing. Content library is where you'll find all of your answer keys. I am under teacher status. Uh, see how I am? I am a teacher. Therefore, I can write in content library. When you are under Content Library, it will not allow you to write because Content Library is for viewing purposes only. You are only to view these icons and not actually be able to edit them. So any of these, you know, homeworks, notes, anything like that, Content Library you cannot write under. You must find your name, like if I choose, you know, AJ right here. If I open AJ's, I can go under his notes. You will see your name appear and then pick whichever week you want to go under, get to the note, and now you should be able to write. So if you're ever troubleshooting and you're like, it's just not allowing me to write, make sure you are under your notebook. You will get anything you need distributed to you directly, and you will find like he has his homeworks distributed right here. I can go the next week, there's the homework I distributed to him. Anything that you need or you need to write on is under student. You will also find the PDF version, so you can print from here. Everything you need to write with is under students. The only time you need to go under content library is if you need those answer keys. So one more time, content library is answer keys. Student is where you take your notes. Hopefully that helps with any troubleshooting. Again, if you're having problems, just try to sync your folder and you should be good. Good luck.